Masonry layout has arrived in Framer, meaning you can build more creative layouts in just a few clicks. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can add masonry layout to anything in Framer, including the CMS. Let's go. So here we are inside a Framer project, and as you can see, I have a bunch of images set up here. Now we're gonna do this in two parts. Number one, we're going to apply a masonry layout to a normal grid of images, as well as a CMS collection list. So let's start with this first one here. So as you can see, I have a bunch of images set up inside an image holder, which is basically a frame holding all this together. Now, usually what you would do is you go to layout and you would turn on grid and we're going to get an effect like this. And I'm going to set the height of this to be auto so you can see all my images are filling. Now, since this is a brand new update from Framer, we have the ability to enable masonry layout under grid. So we'll enable that to be yes. And let's actually turn this into three columns. Now, by default, you will notice that nothing is happening here, and that's because every image here has the same height. However, if I actually increase the height of, say, one of these images or multiple of these images, everything will now start to stack correctly in a masonry-like layout. So essentially, beforehand, the height of the images basically had to stay the same, and you always had this weird gap in between. But now, because we actually have control over this through a masonry layout, we can get quite creative with the actual grid itself. Now, each one of these images has their own fixed height, which means inside this grid layout here, if I change the amount of columns, you will notice that everything is going to be flexible in terms of how a masonry layout should work. And if we want to increase the gap or the space between our elements, we can do so for the X and the Y state here as well. So super simple solution, but a very good solution as well, as I know this is a very highly requested feature. So using this same approach, we can actually apply a masonry layout to a collection list. So for example, here I have a CMS collection set up with a bunch of different images. And you'll notice I've kind of created this as a collection list. Now, by default, what I would usually do would be to create this as a grid, say set the width to be something fixed, like a thousand pixels. And then inside each one of these cards here, I might set the width to be fill. Now, since we're utilizing grid layout, I can just turn masonry layout on and you'll already start to see it's starting to play effect. Let's actually make this three columns for now. Now, everything is based on the height of the actual content itself. Now, in this case, since every image inside my collection list kind of has to have the same rules, what we can actually do is set the height of this to be fit content, and it's automatically going to determine the size of that image based on what's uploaded in the CMS. So now you can see we're actually getting a really nice masonry layout for our entire CMS collection. And just like before, if I want to change the gap or the space between, I can do that here as well. And then when I preview this, you'll notice everything works just like it should. So masonry layouts are really simple to add to Framer, as you can see. Now, the other quick way of doing this is going to layouts and pressing on masonry here or using shift M as a shortcut, which is essentially creating a layout, a grid layout with masonry already applied. But the TLDR of this is if you're already using a grid layout, you've just got a new option here to enable masonry with some additional settings. And then all you need to do is actually tweak the heights of each one of your images and you can actually start playing with different layout options inside a Framer. And that's how you add masonry layout to your Framer site to have more creative control with zero code. Now, if you enjoyed this quick tutorial and you want more Framer videos like it, consider subscribing to the channel because we're putting out new Framer tutorials every single week. And if you're interested in mastering Framer, like truly mastering it, feel free to check out my Ultimate Framer Masterclass, which is the most up-to-date course on Framer on the internet. It's got over 100 lessons and 10 hours of content as well as interactive quizzes and exercises to help you on your Framer journey. But until next time, I'll catch you later.